we're about to make this difficult looking integral a lot simpler than it looks. Remember that cosine to the fourth of x can be rewritten as cosine squared of x times cosine squared of x. You might be wondering why I'm doing that because it looks like we're making things tougher, but we really aren't. The beauty of this is that we can then use a trig identity for cosine squared of x. Do you remember that it's the same as 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2x? Well, the cool thing then is that we can say, okay, cosine squared of x times cosine squared of x, which is the original problem itself, cosine to the fourth, is the same as simply taking that 1 half plus 1 half cosine of 2x, because I distributed the 1 half through, and squaring itself. Using the FOIL method, we're going to expand all the terms out, just like I would like to expand my channel. So hit that subscribe button below if you haven't already. We're going to get 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine of 2x plus 1 fourth cosine squared of 2x. Now, what you have to notice here is when we use the identity above, it was cosine squared of x that we were using it for. But here now we've introduced this term that is cosine squared of 2x. Now, you may have already memorized what that identity should be. But this video has the point of not relying solely on memorization. I want to show you how we can rewrite that term by letting 2x simply be a new variable called theta. And the reason why we're doing this then is when we have 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine of 2x plus 1 fourth cosine squared of theta, we can then reuse that single identity from above for that cosine squared of theta because cosine squared of something is the same as 1 half times 1 plus cosine of 2 times that something, right? And the beauty of this is that in this video, that means we only needed to memorize one identity formula instead of having to use several different other ones. Now, when you expand everything through, you're going to then get 1 fourth plus 1 half cosine of 2x plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth cosine of 2 theta. We need to remember now to be very careful because we can't have an answer that has both an x in there and a theta. So when you plug back in what theta is, which is 2x, that's going to result in this cosine of 4x term here. And so the original problem that was the integral of cosine to the fourth can now be rewritten as a sum of these terms, each one being integrated. 3 eighth is easy to integrate. Now for the 1 half and 1 eighth terms, you have cosine of 2x and cosine of 4x. And for those, they're simple too with a simple u substitution method. And if you don't remember what a u substitution method is, no problem. I've got the perfect video for you right here.